is Marilyn Anderson with How to Live Like a Millionaire When You're a Million Short. It's Friday or Saturday night. You'd love to go out, except you're broke. What do you do? Go for coffee at Starbucks? You could get two lattes for $10. Or would you rather have a night with wine, food, and culture for zero? I meet a lot of guys internet dating. And on the first date, so many guys invite a girl for coffee because it's cheap. And so are they. But guys, you can do better than that and not have to spend anything. Or maybe you're a couple who's strapped for dough. I'm going to tell you how you can have an amazing evening with wine, hors d'oeuvres, and hobnobbing with the wealthy and not spend a penny. OMG, how to do it? Go to an art opening. A couple of weeks ago, I went to a gallery in Santa Monica. I was looking at a painting and asked how much it was. The clerk told me $350. Hmm, I thought, $350, that's reasonable. Except it wasn't $350, it was $350,000. And the man next to me was about to buy it. Another night, I walked into a gallery and who were the first people I saw? Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Then I walked to the other side of the room and saw Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. And near them, looking at a painting, was Barbara Streisand. Now, you may not necessarily see celebrities when you go to your art galleries, but you will see lots of interesting people. Check your local papers or go online for events taking place in your city. Also, you can go into a gallery any day and just put your name on their mailing list and you will start getting invited to their openings. You might get it by email or get a real invitation. It's usually one of their art pieces and you can even frame these and decorate your house for free. Art openings are a great way to spend an evening without spending any money. You'll be mixing with millionaires and having a blast. And hey, if you're not taking a date, maybe you could even meet a millionaire there. Hmm, I think I'm gonna check out the openings this weekend. I better start practicing my art speak. The theme of this piece is so powerful. The meaning, the depth, the pain. I just love dogs playing poker. Thank <sighs> you.